and welcome to Fishbowl VR. My name's Caleb, and I'm going to spend the next few minutes going over the basic steps that you'll need to know in order to complete a test with your VR headset. Alright, so whether you're using an Oculus Rift or an HTC Vive, the steps are pretty much similar, so let's start from the beginning. Okay, after signing up with Fishbowl VR, you're going to get an email, and it's going to give you a link to their website. Once you click on that link, you'll go to their website, and it's going to give you an NDA. Make sure to read it thoroughly, and then agree. After accepting the NDA, you'll be given more instructions on what specific things that you should be doing for each individual test. This is also where you will find information about downloading the application files and basic testing procedures. So after you've downloaded the application that is required and installed if necessary, go ahead and begin that application. At this point, you're going to want to open up your favorite screen recording program. Fishbowl VR recommends that you download OBS as it is a very powerful up-to-date screen capture program and is also free. Personally, I prefer using OBS Studio as that version has a few differences such as Auto Live Preview, which I tend to like. Check them both out and see which one works best for you. Regardless of which version you do use, try to encode the video above 10,000 kilobytes in order to keep the videos high quality. I usually record my videos at about 20 to 30,000 kilobytes. And remember, about 1,000 kilobytes, 1,024 to be exact, is one megabyte. So realistically what we're saying here is 20 to 30 megabytes per second is a very high quality video, but at least 10 megabytes per second is what we're going for. Choose the proper output folder so you know where to find your videos. Now it's time to set your scene. Every game tends to have different capture methods, unless you're running Steam VR. In that case, you've always got the mirror display, which you can always do a side-by-side -side version. Let me show you a few examples. First, you'll need to find your webcam by clicking Video Capture and finding the right model. Next, highlight the game that you're going to be playing with Game Capture. So if you're using the Rift and you record the game The Climb, it will record a slightly halved screen, which looks like this whereas playing FX Pinball records full screen, like this. Both of these are fine. In the first instance, you can make your camera a side-by-side -side of the footage, like this. In the second, you can play with your camera and make it smaller, like this. The same thing happens when you record with Steam VR. Some outputs are small and others can be zoomed in. In this case, make sure you click in the menu like this and click Display Mirror. This method allows you to always use side-by-side -side mode for camera capture and gives the viewer the ability to see your room setup and how it can affect the gameplay. Be sure to find the center of your room when you're making the recordings so that you can stay in frame as much as possible. If you're having trouble finding your screen using game capture, try using window capture. And if that fails, use display capture to get the footage that you need. If it's not already obvious, make sure you check your microphone and sound recordings and test before you do a full recording to make sure the video and sound is up to par. There's nothing worse than getting done with a recording and realizing that you didn't do it right, or even press the button in the first place. It happens, even to the best of us, all the time. Lastly, when you are testing, be sure to give as much verbal feedback as you can while you are playing. Talk about things that you like and dislike. It's best to be constructive with your criticism and act as if you are speaking directly to the developer of the game. Your feedback can be extremely helpful in fine-tuning the future of this gaming industry. Once your video is finished, you can upload it to Fishbowl VR and then begin the survey. This is the part where you get to be as descriptive as you would like and talk more in depth about the things that you've experienced while playing. This part generally takes about 10 to 15 minutes and sometimes has links to more developer surveys at the end. Once the video is submitted and all the questions are answered, that's it. You are finished. You've just completed a Fishbowl VR test. Congratulations. Hopefully this walkthrough has benefited you in some way. Um, if you have other methods that you like to use or find to be better for you, please use them. This is meant to be a guideline to help you. Um, and of course, if you do have any questions, go ahead and email me at realitycheckvr at vrspies.com or of course, jeff at fishbowlvr.com. I'll see you guys in the metaverse.